This is the video bio of Dr. Chris Layton. He's the newest chiropractic physician at ChiroMed Health and Wellness Centers located in Orland Park. Dr. Chris has been working in the chiropractic field for over 15 years now, basically working out of Naperville, Illinois. He's recently moved to this area and has been working at ChiroMed for the past month and a half. Dr. Chris, what I want to know is what actually got you into chiropractic? Growing up, I played a lot of sports, basketball, football, baseball, soccer, and I used to get bad knee pain, back pain, and migraine headaches that sometimes put me out for two and three days at a time. My parents not knowing what to do, my mom being a nurse, they took me to an osteopath and orthopedist, and they took x-rays and said I had a scoliosis. Um, I had a 25 degree curve to the left and a 22 degree curve to the right, so a big giant S curve in my spine. They wanted to put me in a back brace, um, had me quit playing sports and just limit all my activities. Um, my dad, being an advocate of sports, athletics, he asked, you know, why would you want to quit exercise? I would think that would actually help and, you know, strengthen everything. Um, they disagreed. He asked what their success rate was. The number wasn't very good. So we chose not to do that kind of treatment. Uh, so I finally told my dad to take me to a chiropractor, and he didn't disagree with the fact that I had a scoliosis, but he said, you're young enough, I think we can fix it. So it took a while, but if you take an x-ray of my spine, it's straight as an arrow. He fixed, he fixed my scoliosis. Well, that's fantastic. So you got great results from your chiropractor. How did that experience have an effect on your decision to actually become a chiropractic physician? I haven't been hurting for so long. I got relief really quick. The third visit, though, with him, I knew what I wanted to do. That's when the light switch went on. So in eighth grade, I actually started visiting chiropractic colleges, knowing that that's what I wanted to do, and I just always stayed on that path. I wanted to be able to get back to somebody else what my chiropractor had done for me. Very good. What do you feel is the purpose of the treatment that you actually provide to your patients? At first, it's just instant relief, trying to get people out of pain, give them their normal lives back. So if there's something they're limited to, uh, to doing or not able to do, allow them to be able to do the things that they would normally do again. Then making lifestyle changes, stretching and exercise protocols to help them uh, stabilize so they don't have reoccurrences of whatever it was that brought them in initially. Very good. What kinds of symptoms have you found respond very well to chiropractic care? It's a, it's a long list, but we've had good success with headaches, both tension and migraine headaches, neck pain, uh, back pain, whether it's mid to low back pain, um, knee pain, so especially patellofemoral syndrome, hip pain, hip flexor strains, a lot of overuse injuries, so shoulder and rotator cuff injuries, medial and lateral medial and lateral epicondylitis, so uh, elbow injuries, um, plantar fasciitis, uh, symptoms recurrent due to flat feet, so pes planus. Is there any particular condition that you like to treat in particular? I like working with all of it. Um, we, we see a lot of athletes, we work a lot with, with injuries, you know, whether it's shoulder, hip, those are probably the most common, knee. I like working with all of them. Everybody can benefit. Very good. Tell me about your favorite success story. Um, there's been there's been quite a few. You, you know, you, you hear the typical stories of somebody you know crawled in your office on a Saturday morning. They're able to walk out. So we've had those, but um, probably the, the one that was the most compelling. I had a lady who had brought in her infant son. He was probably just a few months old when she initially brought him in. She struggled to figure out or um, finish the uh, the paperwork uh, because he was crying so so much. Um, when we sat down to talk, she said he'd been crying for about 23 out of 24 hours of the day, and this had been going on for over a month. It was affecting her, her kids, her husband. It affected uh, their entire family. Wow. She'd taken him to um, other doctors. They said he had cortical dysplasia, assuming the cortex of his brain hadn't formed properly. Uh, they told her that he was probably going to be a vegetable, um, that they needed to prepare for that. Uh, they had a two-story home. They had sold it. They switched to a ranch-style home to be able to give him care without having to go up and down steps or have caregivers having to go up and down steps so everybody was on the same level. Um, in doing so, you know, they altered their whole lives around around their son and what they anticipated the, the degradation of his, his life becoming as, as just an infant and going forward. Um, I went and I did my exam. I didn't find anything grossly wrong. His uh, reflexes were intact. He had decent muscle tone. Um, 
So I started treatment. I adjusted him. I did some traction, and he fell asleep while I was treating him. Um, she said she couldn't remember when he had slept that hard. He ended up sleeping for 18 hours straight. I handed him off to her when I was done adjusting when he was asleep, and she took him home sleeping. He continued to sleep. Awesome. So uh, he would slept for 18 hours. She brought him back in a couple days, and uh, we started to set out a treatment plan for him. I saw him a couple times a week for a few months, and then gradually went to once a week. Uh, at about the one-year mark, she came in. She was crying. She would taken him back to his doctors, and they told her again, prepare for the worst. Um, they said he had a mitochondrial disorder. Uh, he was probably going to go blind, and then ultimately he would die within probably six months to a year. Um, she was devastated. They said he wasn't going to walk. He, he couldn't turn over, uh, that he was developmentally delayed. And so I pulled out my notes and I said, no, he's been turning over for me for months. I could get him to roll over from side to side. Uh, she was shocked to hear it. Um, but I took her in the room then, showed him how I could lay him down. I could uh, get him to turn over from one side to the other. Uh, she lost it. She cried. She, she was elated. Um, I continued to work with him until he was probably about two years old. At that point, I released him from active care. Um, he ended up being a, essentially a normal kid. He was able to walk behind the stroller, you know, and push push his stroller while he was walking in front of his mom. Um, so pretty pretty cool success story. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the public just about chiropractic in general? We all believe in going to the dentist and getting our checkups and getting the teeth, you know, taken care of. Our spine's really no different. Um, it, everybody has that potential to benefit. Everybody should at least get it checked. Um, there's different conditions that respond. Um, that's why we do what we do. Be able to give people relief, know what's going on, and uh, give them a treatment plan that's, that's tailored to whatever it is that they have going on individually. Well, thank you very much, Doc, for the interview. I know you're going to do really well, and I'm glad to have you on board. All right, thanks, Take care. Doc.